Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is the, the tenth video I think of five words into a thousand words. So um yeah I'm gonna go to the website right now. Okay, so we are in the website now and I will press the the thing right now. Why why do I keep getting things again? <laughs> Like, seriously. Okay, so uh, we have cough medicine, fog, engineer, Christ, Christmas, and plaster. What? Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go return to the drawing right now. Okay, so we are back here in the drawing as you can see my pencil. And once again, the words are cough medicine, fog, engineer, Christmas, and plaster. And um, basically, now I need to come up with some story for all of this again. Well, at least we have a context which is Christmas, so I can just draw a random Christmas tree for no reason. <laughs> and then, plaster can either be like the band aid kind of plaster or, or like plaster, plaster, you know, the thing that you use to make molds to pour. Like when you when you want to make a, some statue or something, you can use plaster to make a plaster of Paris, that's what I mean, to make a mold, and then from there you can make something with it. So, I feel like the cough medicine is just, why? It just feels like the odd one out here, because I can still do something with, because the engineer can, can be quite good with their hands, right, so they can make a fancy fogging machine and make something with plaster and set up a Christmas tree and all that. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. I'm not gonna tell you the story now, because I do not know what the story is yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into drawing something, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is um, this is actually like a stone, you know, in, when you go outside on the street, you can probably see things in on with a stone rimmed kind of thing. So this is what I'm gonna, it's what I'm drawing here. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you the story, but at least I'll tell you what I'm doing, because otherwise it's just gonna be really quiet and not very interesting. So yeah, this is the stone thing, and this gonna be some soil here. This is where our Christmas tree is gonna be. So I have the boundaries here. So this is gonna be a small little Christmas tree, not the big, not really the big one, because they don't have a lot of space for a Christmas tree. Okay, so we made a rough sketch of a Christmas tree and we can now erase all of the um, 
know, the stuff that's behind the Christmas tree. And then give a little bit more definition to the edges that I know that the Christmas tree is here. I will fix these edges later. Okay, so this is where the Christmas tree will be. And um, apart from the Christmas tree, we we have a fogging machine which will give an interesting atmosphere. There's going to be a fogging machine and also a snow making machine because why not? Actually, it's not real snow, it's more like soap. Those the, the small little soap thingy that it makes that looks like snow. So fogging machine just look like a box and they have a little hole thing here. And then there's fog that comes out. <laughs> That's basically what they look like. And they may have a little handle on top. That's what they look like. If you looked at this, you may think it's a radio, but it's not a radio. It's a fogging machine. Makes little smoke. Oh, actually it's a smoke machine. Hmm. A fog is from water molecules, so so what it does, it it makes a mist. It's a misting machine which makes fog, like a foggy, misty. Hmm. Yeah, so this actually makes fog. This is a new thing. It makes fog. And it's, it doesn't make smoke. It makes fog, which is made of water. Water part, like small droplets of water. And it, you know, gives a bit of atmosphere to this place. I don't know. Okay, so we have the fog, fog machine. Uh, they didn't want to put a snow a soap making machine because that's just gonna make the place messy. So instead, they put fog to make it look like it's a cold place or something. Okay, so the next thing we have is a uh, is uh, something that's made of plaster. Or maybe they're do they're still setting up the place, like um, you know they're having a little. Mold here, so this will be like the box which they are using, and you you know what I mean, right? Like when you make plaster, sorry, when you make a plaster mold, you can keep like a box like this by 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 stapling some wooden boards together. By stapling, I mean with heavy duty staplers, not not the paper kind of stapler. Don't use that. <laughs> the big ones. Or even some nails or something to keep them in place. Or some tape and also some mandatory tape to keep them sealed. Something like this. Okay. This looks more like hinges, so I guess it works. <laughs> and there's some object in here which is face down. And it looks like some weird hook thing. Actually, it should be the star because this is a Christmas tree, right? It should have a star on top. So maybe we can make it look like the can make it look like the star thing that's on top. Unfortunately, I'm very bad at drawing stars that. Oh. Uh, that do not involve just doing this, you know. Okay, so yeah, we have a star kind of thing here. 
like the thing that you put on top of the tree and and there's like a box of decorations I can't believe the starting is so big won't it, won't it break the tree? <laughs> oh man okay wait, I'll make it a little bit smaller only make the star very big I mean you can make, you always cast it out of something that is not too heavy make sure the tree doesn't break or something so now we have a box of decorations here and once again I have to erase this I can draw some circular objects <laughs> and some gingerbread man or something I don't know anyways uh, so you have some decorations here and apart from decorations and all this stuff we have our first main character of the day the engineer Actually, there is a, re a way that people use cough medicine apart from just as medicine. But if I mention it here, it would make this pretty inappropriate, so I don't want to. <laughs> but it is a, it, there is a problem where people mm, do get addicted to cough medicine. Uh, but I don't think we should do that to our engineer here. I don't. I don't think it would suit this, so let's not do that. Uh, maybe they're giving out medicine, like they're having a free hospital thing here or something, like a charity event. So that's gonna so that so someone is helping to carry some medicine to the hospital. I don't know. That does that work? It might work. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we have someone who's just kneeling here, who is an engineer. To be honest, I think. <laughs> I mean, the pose seems okay, but it looks a little bit too skimpy. So, For some reason, this just looks very weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh... 
I think it would make more sense if they're kneeling this way. Because <laughs> no one would sit down, no one would actually kneel down like that just to, you know, see something. Ah, this makes more sense. You can have like a longer shirt or something. And... And now, and like the person is, you know, is bending over to check what's going on, so... Since I drew like a bunch of male characters, now I'm gonna draw a female, because why not? Okay, actually this just looks very weird. I do not know how to draw people bending down. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, from here... I can... Okay, so, yeah, we, we drew something. <laughs> um, and then she has like a little pool kit kind of thing. The children's label tool kit. <laughs> Yay, okay. So... So the next thing we can draw here is the Hmm. Do we really need anything else? Oh yes, the cough medicine. I forgot about that. Uh Okay, so so we have another person here who is just you know carrying some carrying a box or something. Okay, so this person is just carrying a box here. And has very weird looking eyes. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so... Yes. So, yeah. Okay, so this person is just walking around carrying a box of things
And yeah, nothing. Not too much to see here. So they're bringing stuff for the charity. Um, yeah, so maybe for that we should have a little banner kind of thing to show that it's actually for a charity and not for some other confusing use. Now just draw it here. Write, write the word charity here or something later. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're kind of done. Mm. Not sure if I give I should give some texture to the ground because right now it just looks plain. <laughs> and the outside, so I think there should be some kind of a maybe I'll just give it like a stony kind of a ground. So I'll just draw very roughish lines with my pencil. Okay, so we kind of have our ground kind of now. Okay, I think there isn't really much to draw here. Okay, so you're kind of done with the drawing. So let me color it now. We are about 23 minutes in. Mm. Let's start with the, um, the stone, I should say. So for the stone, I'm going to use this gray. It's kind of bluish, so I would like to impart another color to it later on. Okay, so I put in some grey, so uh, So now I'm gonna bring in some russet brown. I feel like I should impart some green weird greeny brown colour to it.
Okay, so I'll top it up with more grey. Just top it up with more grey so it doesn't look like a oh, weird green brown colour. Before that, I mean. Okay, so I sharpened it so I can. I mean, I just sharpened it a little bit so it isn't technically sharp. But it has a bit more exposed graphite for me to actually color this with. Okay, so, so to complete this stone's look, let me, where is that? Let me whip, whip out my charcoal grey and give it a bit, a bit more boom to the stone, like, you know, by separating them properly. And also getting a little bit more darkness to it. Don't know why I'm being so extra for a bunch of stones, but okay. Okay, so we are kind of done with that. Uh, so the next part is the soil, which shouldn't be too hard, right? Right? I'm just going to use of a brown here because I think this is a pretty decent-ish soil colour Okay, so okay, so let me color it a little bit more properly by, you know, not making it look like a grainy mess. I mean, technically, soil looks grainy, but this just looks too grainy. Okay, so we have some soil there. The next thing is um, the tree, I guess. The tree. So 
So at the moment, I'm trying to find the best green to color a Christmas tree with. And I think uh, Viridian looks nice. Let me just see what Christmas tree colors really are. Okay, Viridian doesn't really look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Actually, Peacock Blue seems... Peacock Blue seems like the nearest to it. Like, really, I'm not kidding you. So I think that with some actual green, which would be like... Or some olive green also seems to suit it for the lighter colours. Or for more... It actually somewhat suits that colour. Okay, so I'm gonna colour it olive green first. Then add in some peacock blue to make it... To give it a bit more depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to somewhat do a bit of alternating colour kind of thing so that the Christmas tree looks a bit more realistic and not look too <laughs> unidimensional or something. Okay, so yeah, so after that I will add in some layers of this and then we'll top it up with more olive green. Because at the end of the day, you know, this is a nice colour. It's a bit too blue for the tree. <laughs> And then I'll add in more of the olive green here. Just fill in this space. Adding this a bit here and there. To be honest, the bottom part looks a bit weird. <laughs> so let me just color some olive green to like hide it in a bit. And the side has an interesting effect, but the bottom is just weird. <laughs> Anyway, so we have our Christmas tree that doesn't have decorations on it, so because all the decorations are here. Um, now we need to color the trunk, which I'll just use like a light color, because pretty sure Christmas trees don't really have super dark trunks. 
trunks. I'm just going to use some yellow ochre. And then just pretend that looks like a tree trunk. I think it makes it look less weird. Um, so the next part we need to take note of is the box. So I know that this is a cardboard box so I think the khaki brown would go well for a cardboard box. And of course, we all know what's inside the cardboard box. Um, circles and a very weirdly shaped gingerbread man. <laughs> oh man. So I can do a bit of shading here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, actually I should probably know what I'm doing. Okay, so yeah, we have the box here. We have this edge of the box around here too. Let me just color it in a bit so that, like it looks, you know, you can actually see the inside of the box a little bit. Okay, so we are done with the box, so let me color some of the decor and um, we'll move on from there. So I'm going to color this gingerbread man a little bit of an ivory-ish color. And apart from that, add some eyes, some, okay, okay, I'll, I'll do the shading part later, let me first color all the ornaments, okay, so this is gonna be a pink one, and then this is gonna be a blue one. Then we'll have like some green and red sprinkles or something. Sorry, not the sprinkles. You know that thing that you can just rotate and put around the tree? Those things. Sticking out on the side. Or even lights. They could be lights. Mm. The mandarin orange or whatever this is. Mandarin orange ornament here. Get a purple one too. What is this? Lavender. Lavender. <laughs> a lavender one. I do not know why I just said it like that. <laughs> uh, an ultramarine one. Okay. Great. Now let me get some red.
you get some red and then add it in to the green. Okay, so yeah, so we have our decor box finished. So now I will go in and do a bit of shading with the black, the white. So just add a bit of very thin shading over here. A bit of uh, white blending over here. a bit of a outline here okay and for the stone the we draw a bit of an outline here so that it doesn't look too messy also a little bit of shading here especially underneath the tree because the tree would be somewhat and we know as you can tell the light is shining from here so the shadow will be on this side of course I can't really do the entire channel or something here so it will be somewhat at the back and a little bit on the side okay so i just need to take note of that okay so let's move on and we will now do the the rest of the things which Mm. Okay, so let's start with this wooden board thing here. I'm gonna start by colouring it a the cream yellow to give it a little bit of a light base and then add some brown so that it doesn't end up looking too weird. Of course I'm not gonna use russet brown. Uh, let me see. Let me just use some normal brown and then just hope that it doesn't look too out of place. Okay, so we have that mm. now I just need to color the plaster uh, plaster of Paris we can just use like a really light color like ivory or something but technically you don't really need to color it all that much I, think. I should probably erase this first before <laughs> coloring it anything oh well. okay so for this star thing they probably had a model uh i mean you can make one out of styrofoam or something but i'm just gonna give it some colors that it doesn't look too boring i'm gonna use some violet and then give it a a nice dark color to it to make it stick out of course you might be wondering why are they only doing the mold now <laughs> i mean aren't they supposed to be setting up for the event i mean technically after they do this they need to actually bring it if they want to use the mold to put an actual yellow colored star inside and then you know pour something else into it and then bake it yeah that's that's gonna take a while but this is actually the previous day it's not the actual day so they're just setting it up beforehand 
mm, they didn't have time to do this so they're doing it now and that's why I didn't color it yellow because this is not the actual star that they'll be putting it on the putting on the tree they will make that with something else this is just a model for that uh, next is the toolkit which I feel will we'll just grab a random blue okay there's some sky blue here just color it with some blue here might be thinking, oh, two kids are red, right? Not blue. Ha, uh, who cares? And then a little bit more darker shading at the back. Okay. Okay, so we have a blue here, and we, of course we can tell that there's a Valkyrie brown on the other side. So I'm gonna use that to just draw out the, write out the letters again. Okay, so we have a toolkit here, as specified. We bring out my white and black, and just give a little bit more oomph to this thing. Okay, so, so now we need to, you know, we need to color the fog machine and these two people and of course the box. Oh, there's another box. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use khaki for that as well. Okay, another khaki box. Okay. Uh, so for the fog box, I'm gonna give it a nice, messy kind of color. Since I usually neglect pink, I'm gonna use one of the pinks too. To you know, color this box. Um, wait a minute. I'm gonna use pink. There's no other extra description. It's just pink. Hope that it doesn't fail me. Ah, uh, the typical pink. Uh, I prefer this actually. <laughs> I don't want the. I don't really like typical pink. The other shades of pink are better. Like magenta or something. It's just too cliche pink. Anyways. So yeah, this is the fog machine. Okay, so yeah, we have our fog machine. <laughs> How brilliant. From here, I'll just add some, some black and white. Okay, so for the next part, we will have a... Mm, Oh, the banner, the banner. <laughs> Forgot about the banner. And of course, the two people. Okay, so for the two people, we'll just use our, our basic skin color. I'm not in the mood to think right now. Mm, yeah, this color here should do the trick. Okay, 
I, I do realize the hands look a bit weird, so <laughs> let me just fix that for a second. Probably still looks weird now, but okay. And for the dress, I'm gonna give her nice orange, not dress, a shirt, <laughs> whatever that is that they're wearing, an orange colored shirt. Because you do not need to be wearing black. <laughs> you can wear any colour you want as long as you're clean enough and don't make a mess of your shirt. They're wearing shoes, so I don't have to cover their feet or anything. Oh, never mind. Okay, so for the hair, I will Okay, so for the for the clothes, since they are wearing such a bright shirt, I think the pants shouldn't be too bright. Um, hmm. Let's give them one of these weird green colors. What is this thing called? Shutters green, whatever that means. I mean, if you want, I can read it. I'm not sure if you can read this. I surprisingly have used this green a lot. I have no idea how. He kind of goes off, I think, right? Okay, so let me just add some shading and uh, okay for for the shoes, I can just color them black because why not? It's like those boots or something. And of course I will do a little line in between to show that there are two shoes, not just one. Okay, so... So for their mouth... Okay, so the thing left to do is a banner and the floor. So for the banner, we will... Mm. 
<laughs> I'm running out of, you know, ideas of what color to use. Okay, I'm gonna use this light pink so that the banner will not be too dark. And on top of that, I will use a dark color to, you know, to write something. Okay, so we have a banner here. Nothing fancy. Uh, and I will get one of these colors what, what color would be nice and striking striking right in your face okay, I'm gonna use this royal purple Okay, yay! So we kind of did something. And from here, we can now color the pole thingy and then color the floor. I think the pole, you can just use a charcoal gray for that. Where is that gray? After a while, I don't know, I'm like, I just keep misplacing everything in a different location. Okay, so we have uh, the poles and everything. Um, what else do you expect me to do? Okay, so now I just need to color the floor. So I'm gonna try all the grays. I would, I would prefer to go with something that's not too dark. So charcoal grey will be a little bit too dark for this. Let's keep it aside. Mm, I think warm grey looks somewhat nice for the floor. I'm gonna use warm grey. And then try not to colour it too darkly. I'll just anyhow just try to shade it and give at least some color to the floor because it'll kind of just look organic just the way it is and afterwards I will add in the shadows Okay, so I think while I'm just shading this, I'll tell you the story. Uh, so basically, there are some engineering students and they wanted to do some charity or something. And they decided to do it on Christmas, around the time I guess, in December. <laughs> I don't know. So. So for the charity event, they, they collaborated with maybe the doctors, whoever studying medicine. So they're like students, university students. 
and uh, they they are then setting up this outside outdoor event kind of thing with a cute little tr a Christmas tree and then maybe somewhere nearby this area there's gonna be a little tent where the where people can come and get free consultations from the doctor and also get some medicine for free without having to pay anything just realize okay let's continue yeah so that's that's the idea of this thing and now they're setting it up and they have the um, they have this plaster mold to make a really cool looking star thing although I guess they could have just used a 3D printer or something I don't know <laughs> who cares they want to revisit the old ways of doing things I guess <laughs> instead of using a 3D printer oh man I hope I just kind of covered the area okay so now that I'm done with colouring it with the warm grey I'll go in with the charcoal grey and give it a little bit more outlining here. And obviously it, would, it ends up not being on top of the pencil. Uh, okay, who cares. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the general idea of this of this picture. Like that's that's the context behind it. So you might want to know what what happens to this. What happens to them after they set up the thing? Does anything go wrong? Does everything go as planned? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in charge of the story after that. Or am I? I I technically can give you a story if I want to. So maybe we can say like, um, I don't know, maybe something suddenly happens and some weird thing happens. Maybe the plaster breaks <laughs> and then they can't do a star with a plaster and then they just 3D print it or something dumb, I don't know. <laughs> Anything can happen or it could just be like nothing happens and it goes smoothly. No big deal. And then the fog machine is a hit and they decide to use it afterwards. And maybe the, they invented the fog machine instead of buying a machine that can actually produce fog. So they can patent it after the event and then earn money. <laughs> and then give that to charity. <laughs> Sounds perfect. The perfect plan. The the perfect plan. What did I just say earlier? I oh, don't know. Okay, so we kind of um drew some lines here. Then I'll use this to add a little bit more you know, shading here and there. Make it a little bit darker in certain places. Okay, so now we need to add the shadows, right? So, for the shadows, the idea is that it goes behind. So I'm gonna use this to add some shadows first and then use black if it's not enough. Oh, it's already one hour. Okay, so... <laughs> This is gonna end soon, don't worry. I'm gonna add some shadows here. Maybe here a little bit. Like a shadow like this. Okay. And this will, this will also have a shadow. Okay. And then this thing will also have a bit of a shadow. So daytime, there's gonna be a shadow somehow. 
this thing has a smaller shadow. And his shadow is here. And there's a shadow here. Okay, so yeah, we're just giving a bunch of shadows and everything and we're kind of done almost. Nothing really much to see. Um, yeah, I think we're done. There, should, there isn't anything else to do here. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please press the like button and subscribe. And uh, with that, I would like to say thank you and bye.